Hello Virgo, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess, here to do, actually that one might hold it better, here to do your December read. Um, because I, I want to sort of keep it flowing and I'm running a bit late this time, I thought I'd just put them up as I can. So they'll be all higgledy-piggledy, but bear with me. Um, so Virgo, if you've subscribed to my channel, I want to say a huge thank you. It's been lovely to have you on board. I um, continue to grow. We continue to grow. Our community continues to grow. So it's beautiful. If you haven't subscribed yet, please come on board with us. And if the readings don't resonate, you know the drill. You check out your other star, other signs of your natal chart. And if not, move on. Beautiful. Here we go. Handsome Robert's deck here. Oh, the tower huge for the month of December you know what everything's happening at the moment I'm listening to readings I'm listening to the to the astrology so much is happening all you people that have been working on things you're about to rebuild your life again now I don't think the tower's a, a bad card I don't think any card's a bad card I love the tower because I believe it gives us a chance to break down what we've learned and to come in learning something brand new so it's a huge card now if you don't understand the tower sometimes it can do something a little bit more destructive you might you know have something happen um, where you have to rebuild in a material sense but most of the time it talks about epiphanies new learnings things changing so could be very good for you. So the first card we have out is the five of rods. Now I do apologize to you. I um I've got a room that is quite bright and um I'm going to have to you can see I've changed the area I'm in because I'm in a bedroom right or my office really rather than the kitchen or the dining room. So I want to set up a light in here to make it a little bit better, but um, you'll just have to bear with me for a little while first. So first off, we have the Five of Rods. Now, the Five of Rods talks about it's bickering, but it sometimes can talk about mental conflict as well. So either you're dealing with other people and finding them very annoying and frustrating, or you could be doing some of this yourself to yourself. So this is the card of should I, should I, shouldn't I, what if, what if this happens, like that constant energy. Okay, and then we have the Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords talks about moving into karma waters. Now you could be moving away from something or moving towards something. The thing is, what you're doing is you're packing all of the things you've learned to take with you. Um, and this says to me, you're moving away from something where you've learned a lot of lessons. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Swords. You've got a pretty heavy reading for the month of December here, Virgo. Um, the Eight of Swords shows a woman who's bound and tied with swords all around her. She's refusing to see the truth or to see the way out of this situation. Um, even though her ropes are loose and she could quite easily extract herself, she refuses to do that. This often means you're trapped in mental thoughts, trying to deny an answer to something. Okay, and then we have the Five of Cups. So this talks of, you know, um, not moving forward, looking backwards, not advancing on your path, being stuck in your ways. Oh, now I see why the tower's coming through. Okay, we'll explore that. So this talks about, you know, um, regrets, remorse, sorrow, um, not looking forward and seeing, you know, what you've got in your future, what you can expect. Um, to me, this is about a refusal or a conflict about moving away from something from your past. Um, this is this mental conflict here and these swords, these lessons. It looks like you're refusing to move forward here. Now, I don't mean that in a negative way, so please don't take me negatively. What I'm saying to you here is there's something you're stuck in from your past that you need to move on from. And the universe is saying we need to move you on because we've got all this good stuff sitting here waiting for you, but you're stuck. You're stuck and you're blindfolded. You don't want to see it. You're refusing to move. That's why the tower comes in. So we have a hermit card here. Now, the Hermit card, actually, it's cute, really. Look, he's 
shining light on my candle. Um, it, the Hermit card talks about, um, you know, going inside and looking at the deepest, darkest parts of you. Um, it's taking time out from the world to review, to, well, a hermit, you know, to go into yourself and have a look. Um, there's some sort of situation here, Virgo, that you're trying to reflect on. Ten of Rods, my goodness, you guys are having a hard time in December. So the Ten of Rods talks of carrying around a lot of burdens and being at the end of a road and needing to put these down. But for the moment, I always feel like this is the last, you know when you're carrying the groceries in to the house and you've got like ten bags and you're like five steps away from the house and oh my goodness, those bags are so darned heavy and you really don't think you're going to make it. And when you get inside, you put those bags down, it's that feeling of relief. That's the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is the Ten of Wands. Okay, and then we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles talks about making a decision. Generally, this is something like a head over heart decision. Um, in this card, you can see the guy is not watching the water, which means he's ignoring his emotions and trying to do this decision from a very practical viewpoint. So I'm just going to give you a, re a recap here. So what's happening here is some of you are having trouble moving away from something. Um, something from the past that has kept you. You may have already physically moved away because the Six of Swords is here. Um, but mentally you're having troubles moving away from it. A lot of conflict here. Um, you're carrying a lot of issues and problems. There's a decision that's got to be made here. And I feel like you're having trouble making this decision because the Hermit card's here. So it's like you need to make a decision without involving your heart. So it's very possible that you could have moved away from something that's hurt your heart. Um, let's have a look. So then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles can represent the Earth sign. So we are talking about you. So this could be your representation. So you could be very, um, look, or actually this is probably the sort of energy you're looking for at the moment. Because you're not grounded. You're very much in your head. A lot of swords, a lot of wands. Um, and there's no grounding here. So for me, this Two of Pentacles is about you trying to um, take a very practical, practical approach to this situation in order to move forward. Um, so you're trying to put your burdens down. You're trying to take time out with this Hermit card. But you're having a great deal of difficulty because your emotions are overtaking everything else. Your thoughts. Okay, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is probably a lovely card to have here. So I think for a lot of you, you've walked away from something. You've walked away from something here. And I feel like you're really out of your element. You're just looking for this. You're trying to stabilize yourself here. But it looks like you can't move, especially with this Two of Pentacles here. It feels like you're eternally trying to balance it. And I feel like the universe is bringing up the tower for you because it's time to walk away from it now. So whatever, har whatever you're harboring here, whatever you find in the month of December that you're having trouble putting away, leaving behind, um, this can be about anything in your life. But it's some decision here that you're finding very difficult to make because you're either so overstrung with thoughts or so overcome with emotion that you're having difficulty moving on from it. So the universe is probably going to bring in some sort of epiphany moment, some sort of realisation to you to be able to pick up this Eight of Cups and move forward. You have to move away from this situation. Now, as I said to you, see, in the Six of, Wands, in Six of Swords, you're moving away in a physical sense, but emotionally with this blindfold on here, you're not moving away in an emotional sense. You're stuck. You're very stuck. And because of that, you don't have your feet on the ground, Virgo. And this is about you getting those feet planted back on the ground. Because the Eight of Cups comes up last, which says to me that you need to walk away from this situation, whatever it is. In order for the universe to bring you in the next step, this is why they're doing the tower thing. You have to move away. Okay, so I'll put an oracle card on that. Okay. Oh, we have the moon. 
It says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So if you're stuck, maybe you need to get out of your head and start listening to your intuition because the universe is trying to move you forward on this and you're not listening to your intuition. So it could be better things are out there for you, but you're not realising that. Thanks, Virgo. Have a wonderful December.